everyone my name is Anna in this channel I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee which I have to cover today because we will be doing some repotting I have here my euphorbia lactea a crested euphorbia lactea which is grafted on to another euphorbia so it's potted up beautifully as you can see i must admit it looks beautiful the way it is potted up right now but it is not actually the ideal or my ideal way of um having this planted um this is a beautiful pot however it has no drainage hole underneath it has however a pot inside it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the pot and the soil and i will show you how it looks like so it has this um white rock top dressing which are glued to each other <laughs> and then so here it is so it has a plastic pot inside like i told you see it has no drainage holes in this beautiful pot i am not going to use this one at least for this pot maybe for another plant but not for this one so this is how it is okay let's remove all these stones first on top okay so this particular euphorbia i posted this in my instagram account no in my facebook actually my facebook account and in my youtube community wall because i was asking you guys if you know what root stock was used to graft this euphorbia on definitely this is a euphorbia and not a cactus because to um, graft something if you're grafting a euphorbia the root stock has to be a euphorbia as well and also, if you're grafting a cactus, the root stack has to be a cactus as well. So since my scion, the top part of a grafted plant, is a euphorbia, the root stock also has to be a euphorbia. But in this case, when I bought it, I had no idea what kind of root stock they use in here, what kind of euphorbia at least. I am more familiar with the euphorbia trigona. In fact, I used to have this cactus, this Lactea. It was grafted on a Euphorbia Trigona. But then the um, Trigona does not really uh, last, at least for me here, in my climate. So one summer, the rootstock, the Trigona, got severe sunburn. And it rotted like from the top and it went all the way up to the Cyan. I tried saving the Cyan but it failed i tried splitting it i grafted regrafted one part again on another <laughs> trigona and then the other part i tried rooting it but both of them did not survive so i got myself a new one anyway as i was saying i uh, posted this on in my facebook and in my community page of my um youtube channel and a lot of you made some suggestions. Some said it could be a Euphorbia near um, Sudanica or a Euphorbia tricali. But most of you said it's a Euphorbia nerifolia. And I think that is it. This one is a Euphorbia nerifolia. And I could see that this is a sturdier, I hope it is, uh, sturdier than a Trigona. That's why I bought this euphorbia lactea again grafted because i like the rootstock that they used on this one so anyway i am going to be repotting this and changing the soil so as you can see the soil is very uh rich oh i can squeeze it i actually watered this five days ago but i'll show you it did not dry out it's it looks like it's just been freshly watered. I can actually squeeze the water out of the soil. See? <laughs> it's that wet. Okay, so the soil holds a lot of water. 
So I'm going to change this with my own soil. I will mix it with more pumice. Um, I think this is more peat based anyway. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to knock off as much soil as I can. Okay. It does not have a very big root ball as I expected it to have. Actually, the soil, see, it, they came off easily because there's not much roots on this one. It was um, planted very deep. As you can see, this is where the soil level was, the top of the soil. And there is no roots in here. The roots just starts here at the very bottom. Hmm, okay. Anyway, I still see lots of thick roots in here right there okay so i think this will be fine all right so after knocking off all that soil this is all the root ball that we have this is the pot that i decided to use for it this one has a drainage hole okay and then um originally i was planning to use a bigger pot but then when I saw that the root ball is not that big, actually, I went for a one size smaller pot, which is actually almost the same as the pot that this was previously in. Alright, so let's get started with this potting up. This should be easy. Okay, so what I'm using here is just my uh, cactus soil mix. But I added a little more organic material. So for my cactus, I usually use like 50-50%. But for this one, I did 60-40. Uh, that means 60% organic and 40% inorganic. Uh, going back to this Euphorbia nerifolia, I looked it up and I found out that this is actually a fast-growing euphorbia it is a euphorbia shrub but it grows very tall almost like a small tree that is why it is often used as a rootstock for grafted euphorbia so usually this and the euphorbia trigona that those two are the ones that are commonly used here at least here in the u.s as rootstocks for euphorbia and it also has thorns by the way like all you most euphorbias they have thorns um except they cut it off so the thorns would probably be in here where you see the white spots they cut it off but however here on the top i could see that there is still thorns right there so those are how the thorns looks like um except they cleaned it up here at the base Let's get on with this repotting. Okay, so this Euphorbia lactea, um, in its normal form, it grows tall and upright, like a candelabra type of um, plant. But this one is the crested form. So since the regular form can grow on its own roots, this can actually be grown in its own roots. I am going to maintain this grafted. But maybe if I get another one, then I can experiment with that one growing in its own roots. Sometimes you would also see this euphorbia this crested euphorbia sold under the name of coral cactus <laughs> yeah it's it is not a cactus it does look like a coral but it's not a cactus it's a euphorbia but yes a lot of times i see this sold as a coral cactus so don't be deceived it's not a cactus this one is a euphorbia okay i just want to make sure that I pack the soil real tight at least for this one because this top euphorbia it is heavy <laughs> it is heavy so I don't want it to topple over so 
I'm making sure that I pack it down real nice and tight nice and snug anyway I have lots of pumice in the soil so I will not suffocate the roots even if I pack it tight okay I just want the euphorbia to be stable okay so I will not be watering this since it came from a very wet soil and usually when I repot a plant a cactus or a euphorbia I don't water it right away I give it a few days just to let the roots heal the broken roots heal before I introduce water to the soil all right I think it is stable now it shouldn't wobble or fall down until the roots start growing and settling in the pot okay and then lastly hmm, I need a top dressing okay I have here some top dressing these are actually aquarium gravel <laughs> but I think this will work here okay. it's got nice color to it Okay, so so that not everything is green you know green euphorbia on top green rootstock and green pot <laughs> so this will like introduce a contrast oh yes I like it I like the way it's looking oh wow yes I like it I like it if you see those paws right there <laughs> shadow move my dog shadow likes to video bomb me okay shadow say hello <laughs> here now is my crested euphorbia lactea in its new pot it is still winter here so I will keep this in my garage um, euphorbias generally are not winter hardy so they will tolerate temperatures to around 50 degrees Fahrenheit a little lower than that but definitely not freezing temperatures so this will stay in my garage at least until springtime all right if you like this video guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up follow me in Facebook and in Instagram and until next time bye guys and cheers Bye.